Let's look at the next page. Um, in this equation, we've got magnesium and oxygen that combine to create magnesium oxide. Name the elements we started with. Magnesium, it's a metal, and oxygen. The name the element we ended with, magnesium and oxygen. Did the elements stay separate? We can see that there are molecules of oxygen and molecules of magnesium. In the end, they combine. So no, they did not stay separate. Was a new product formed? Yes, magnesium oxide. Were any new elements added? No, it's only magnesium and oxygen. Lost? No. Burning of magnesium causes a chemical change. You can see that there are molecules on one side that are different from the molecules on the other. There is an arrow in the middle. It's a chemical change. All right. Example of physical change. In a physical change, the atoms do not change the way they are linked up. No new molecules. No new products are formed. Let's look at the example. Tearing paper is an example of a physical change. Does the paper look different after being torn? Yes change of appearance. The appearance changes, but is it still paper? Yeah, the molecules of paper have not changed. Are the atoms taking in energy? No. Giving of energy? No. There is no burning or absorption of energy in the paper. In a physical change, the atoms do not change the way they link up. No new molecule. The chemical properties of the paper are not changed. Paper is flammable, whether it's ripped in little pieces or in a big bulk. A chemical equation cannot, we cannot have an arrow in the middle be written to show a physical change. It doesn't work. A chemical equation shows only a chemical change. There is a, the arrow shows a transformation at the molecular level. That doesn't happen here. Melting of ice. We've done this in our phase change lab. This is a phase change. Does the ice look different after it is melted? Yes, it's going from a solid to a liquid. The formula for water is H2O. The formula for a ice is H2O. When ice changes to water, the bonds between atoms in H2O do not change. It's still the same molecule. When water changes to ice, the bond between atoms in H2O do not change. A chemical equation cannot be written. The melting of ice is an example of a physical, physical change. What I would like you to add here is a really important information. When you have a phase change going from solid to liquid in a phase change, The liquid can go back to the solid. So ice cube melts into liquid water. Liquid water can freeze back into the solid. A phase change can be reversed. So if you're wondering, hey, is this a phase change or a chemical reaction? Think in your head. Is this a change reversible? Can you go back um, or not? If you can, that means that the molecules didn't change and you're having a phase change. 
it will make sense later. Let's look at the next one. Does the look does the wood look different after being chopped? Yes, change of appearance. But it's still wood. Wood is still wood. Yep. Are the atoms changing the way they are linked up? The molecules of cellulose in the wood, they don't change. So no. Are any elements being added? No. Any elements being lost? No, it's the molecules don't change at all. Any new products being formed? No. The chopping of wood is an example of a physical change. A chemical equation cannot be written. We don't have an arrow showing a transformation at the molecular level. Let's match. What may be taken or in or given off during a chemical reaction? It's energy. Energy can be taken in or given off. New products are always formed. That's a chemical change. What always changes in a chemical reaction? Properties. Properties are always going to change. What tells the story of a chemical change? The story is told through an equation, a chemical equation, and no new products are formed in a physical form, uh, physical change. Last page. True or false? A chemical reaction causes a chemical change? It's practically the same thing. A chemical change makes new product? Yes, new molecules are created. Elements can be lost or gained in a chemical reaction? No, never. The substances that take part in a chemical reaction keep their properties? No, they don't. They change their properties. The new substances made in a chemical reaction have new properties? Yes, you have new substances being made and they have new properties. A physical change makes new product. That's false. A physical change does not change the substances. The boiling of water is an example of a chemical change. No, the boiling of water is a, change, is a phase change, it's a physical change. An equation tells the story of a physical change. That's false. It tells the story of a chemical change. Here, we're going to write C for chemical change, P for physical change. Mixing salt and pepper, we are not creating new molecules. You want to check, are new molecules created? That's your check. Are new molecules created? Yes, chemical, no, it's a physical change. We're not creating any new molecules, physical. Evaporation of water. Are new molecules being created? No, it's a phase change. Electrolysis of water, that's the first reaction we saw, splitting H2 into H2 and O2. Uh, that's a chemical change, we're creating new molecules. Cutting a marshmallow, we're not changing the molecules of marshmallow, it's still marshmallow. Toasting a marshmallow, we're burning the marshmallow, so we are changing the molecules of marshmallow. Whenever there is burning, you can be sure that it's a chemical change. Burning magnesium, chemical. Adding chocolate syrup to milk, we're mixing things, but we're not creating new molecules. It's a physical change. Rusting of iron, we're going to see that in the notes. It's a chemical change. Melting of sugar. So melting of sugar, is this a phase change? That's going to be your second check. Are new molecules created? I don't know. Is this a phase change? Um, then the question is, can it be reversed? Can it be reversed? Um, when we're melting sugar, we're creating caramel. Once you have caramel, you cannot go back to powdered sugar. It cannot work, it cannot be reversed. No, and so it is not a phase change. The melting of sugar is a chemical change, not a phase change. 
making iron into a magnet that's not changing the properties of iron uh, so it's a physical change we're going to go over this again next week so don't worry if this is confusing to you right now all right when you're done with all your annotations and checking your work uh, you're going to use this packet for the project and you will turn it in again at the end of the week bye